So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me now I'll be running this Lost Sector with a very specific build that I made a whole video on. I'll briefly describe the build in this video, but I highly recommend watching the build video to fully understand how to utilize it. The link to that will be in the description. The exotic armor in rotation today will also be in the top line of the description on this video. And with that out of the way, let's hop right into the guide. Now for the build today, we're going to be using my Arc Warlock build with Sanguine Alchemy and Cold Heart. The auto rifle is here for stunning barrier champions. Cold Heart is here because of its heavy damage and build synergy, and the fact that it stuns overload champions, and the machine gun is here again because of the heavy build synergy, and it does good boss damage and shreds through champions. Now this is one of the best builds this season, I'm not going to go into full depth here, but I highly recommend watching the build video so you fully understand everything that's going on. Trust me, you will not regret it. This build is quite potent, and it's actually my favorite right now. With the build out of the way, let's hop right into the video. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do when you enter the Lost Sector is clear out this group of adds, and then from that point, what's gonna happen is an Overload is gonna spawn in the back, and there are also some shanks in the back that you're gonna wanna watch out for. We're just gonna plop our Rift down. We are getting some crazy damage with our Cold Heart because this build is amazing. Definitely are gonna wanna go check that out, guys, in the description. As you can see, everything is just blinded by our build. And we can just take care of everything so easily, getting that damage bonus in our Rift. Again, we're clearing these guys out, and now that the Overload is isolated, we can just absolutely melt that dude. He just absolutely falls over, not much he could do about it. We're going to reload our Trace Rifle, because what happens there is when he's unstunned, if we don't have any ammo, and we cannot continue doing damage to him with our Trace, he is going to regenerate that health. So every single time he is about to become unstunned, I actually reload my gun. And yeah, we cleared that out really easily, guys. So now we're going to proceed forward, but you're not going to want to run up completely. You see, I'm going to throw my grenade here, and what that does is it kills the Exploder Shake that was hiding behind cover there. You guys are definitely going to want to watch out for that. Now this next section, the section I'm currently at, can be the most difficult part of the Lost Sector if you don't do exactly as I do, so be sure to pay attention here. We're going to kill some adds, but really what we're doing here is on the right side, a barrier is about to come. You are going to want to melt him as fast as possible because if he proceeds forward, he's going to be making five, six, seven different adds immune to damage, and you're going to have a really hard time taking care of the barrier champion when he has those types of defenses. So you see the barrier champion is here. We're going to absolutely melt it. Stun it with our auto rifle, and I am going to use my super because it is absolutely worth it. Like I said, if you don't fry that barrier, you're going to be in some deep trouble. Just trying to chip him down while taking all that damage, it's quite annoying. But we're able to make quick work of him this time around. And then from this point, we're just going to clear some adds so that we can proceed forward. And moving on, there's some Exploder Shakes here up ahead. We're not really worried about them. What I really want to highlight is that there are four snipers ahead, and I will point out the location for all of them so that you can be very careful. Now, you might see the timer on the bottom right. It says 14 minutes and 30 seconds. That is because I was doing a challenge. I was doing all four Moon Lost Sectors without dying because there's a bug in one of them that lets you go to other Lost Sectors and make them Legend. And this was actually the second Lost Sector of that run. So don't worry about the time. Obviously, I haven't been in here for 14 minutes. <laughs> uh, so we just ran back for some ammo. Now we're moving forward. And you see the first sniper on the right side. We're going to have to take care of him because he does quite a bit of damage, obviously. Uh, got that guy really easily. Now, up where I'm looking right now, there are some shanks, but they don't seem to have spawned yet. There's one guy on the left. That is our fourth sniper. So we're going to take care of him. The Vandal melts him. Okay, that's two snipers down. And then, like I said, those shanks are the other two for a total of four snipers. Take care of them really easily. Uh, so now we're just going to move forward. Now, I was playing very safe here because, again, if I died, the run was over. You know, I was doing that challenge where I had to do all four of them at once. You guys can actually move forward to where that sniper was previously standing. You don't need to play this safe, but, you know, you can, you can do what I'm doing here if you don't want to die. Now, it looks like the shanks have actually moved forward. Only one of them, though, so we'll get one of them. Now, there is still one sniper left. We finally got the Overload Captain stunned and from this point we're going to be able to take care of him because he's just stun locked he's not going to be moving we could just hit him with our overload perfectly fine and we will take care of him very very easily switch to our heavy do some damage switch back to our trace rifle boom he's down now you, you see i'm playing around the sniper on the right side you don't want to peek the snipers ever i told you where they are so play around that and you know never peek them unless you like taking heavy damage now there's just a couple adds left and honestly, 
now we are at the boss room. The boss room is so easy, guys. Just follow what I'm saying here, and you will have such a good time. The only difficult part of this lost sector is, like I said, that barrier champion, if you let him push forward too much. There's going to be some shanks up here, and the barrier champion is actually making some snipers immune, but thankfully this time around he actually wasn't making the sniper immune, so I was able to chip him. Hit the barrier with some machine gun damage that is doing some crazy damage because of the build that we're using. So we're able to just take care of him really easily from that point. Now something that can happen with this barrier champion is sometimes he'll push too far back so you won't be able to shoot him from back here. Sometimes he'll push to the left, obviously blocked by this orange thing. So that can be annoying but like I said, it's, it's not too difficult at all because they don't have a bunch of different adds on top of them. They have like a max of four and the position that you shoot them from, you know, like it's not as bad as the first barrier. So taking care of these guys, we're going to proceed forward and that's where the boss is actually going to be standing. Taking a bit of damage, going to head back, but it's fine, I'll just move back forward. Now we're going to stand right here and pop our rift, giving us that damage boost because of the build. And we are just going to start clearing some adds and doing some boss damage from this point. Now you'll notice I have a supercharge, but I'm not going to use it on the boss. The reason being is there's going to be a barrier that spawns after we reach a certain damage threshold on the boss. And he's going to be making the boss immune. So if I use my Chaos Reach right now and he becomes immune halfway through, obviously I will have then just wasted my super. Additionally, melting the barrier is much more beneficial than getting, you know, 30% of the boss's health. Y you know what I'm saying? So the second we stun the barrier, we'll be able to absolutely fry him with our Chaos Reach. That is the plan and that is what we're going to do. So at this point, we're just waiting for the barrier to move forward. There he is. Start beaming him down. Look, he becomes half HP so quickly again because this build is so good. And from this point, we're able to just fry him. I actually didn't even need to use my super, but I saved it until the barrier was dead. Because again, we don't want the boss becoming immune halfway through our super. Gonna clear out some adds. Now, when you reach a certain damage threshold, there's gonna be some melee adds that are gonna push you. You're gonna wanna look out for those guys. They can ambush you if you're not paying attention, and that can, you know, obviously kill you. But yeah, just like that, the boss is dead. Now, what I'm going to do here is clear out the rest of the room, but you don't need to do this, guys. I was just trying very hard not to die because, again, I was doing a challenge. But you, you could just run past all those guys because they're just melee. Uh, you could just jump over them, things like that. But yeah, that's the Lost Sector, guys. Really easy stuff today. And that's going to be the guide, guys. Don't forget to watch the build video. Hopefully this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe as I post Lost Sector guides daily. Either way, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.